I kept in close contact with the Weather Bureau when it began to become very evident that it was coming in here. And uh, the Weather Bureau, when it was about uh, 24 to 36 hours away, the Weather Bureau called me early one morning and told me that it was definitely heading for Roosevelt and the, the Rio Grande Valley. And uh, that uh, we needed to get prepared. Prior to the hurricane, what uh, we did was use the police car and go into the neighborhoods with a loudspeaker, notifying everyone that uh, the hurricane was coming. And they had until a certain time to get all the stuff together and get out of town. We also had, uh, I had notified the National Guard and requested that uh, we be sent uh, two companies of National Guard prepared to, to stay in the field for two weeks because uh, I figured that uh, it would be uh, at least two weeks before we could even start making a little headway if we really got slammed hard, of which we were preparing for the worst and hoping for the best at that time. The, the damage, you had severe damage on old buildings. The old buildings that uh, had maybe had dry rot at the bottom of the studding in the walls and, and uh, maybe termite. But those buildings that were constructed and were relatively new construction, they stood the storm pretty good. Of course, some of the wind, the window got blown out and roofing paper off of the roof got blown off, but the structure itself would remain sound. And this was in Port Isabel as well as on Padre Island, but there weren't too many buildings at the time on the island, and uh, there weren't too many in Port Isabel that, that were uh, relatively new buildings. That uh, So as a result, we had a lot of damage in Port Isabel. The people uh, in Port Isabel, personally, uh, they responded to the storm very well, and uh, most of them, uh, and uh, my attitude was that uh, we built it and we will rebuild it, and we will rebuild it better than it was before. And everyone uh, adopted that attitude that uh, uh, that's what we would do. And uh, everyone after the storm started, uh, uh, the city crews started working, getting the things moving, and the people in the town started uh, taking care of uh, their homes and what they had to do. Uh, and also, as soon as we could get the insurance adjusters into the area to start adjusting and uh, giving uh, estimates of the damages and everything so the people that had insurance could collect it and start building and rebuilding back. Um, and uh, we, uh, we really... Uh, uh, just turned to and started working to rebuild the town and and the people in the town accepted the fact that we had had a lot of damage their homes were damaged some of them a lot of them weren't and that it was up to us to rebuild it and that's what we did